I'm Andre J. Hey, and I'm Star. And welcome to another episode of Exploring the Video Synthesis Ecosphere, where we kind of delve into more uh, uh, detailed <laughs> topics of the ins and outs of these weird little critters here. And so today we're going to talk about temporal vortex, which is kind of a unique one, and I think it's got some... Uh, well, what do you think of temporal I'm, vortex? Hey, I mean, temporal vortex, I would say, is a big mystery. You know, we have this slit scan element happening. But what I'm interested in is, like, what can we really do with it? I get the slit scan. That's cute. Yeah, but it's, how like, do we it's take like the it, Instagram filter. How do we like take it further? If you've Instagram or TikTok <laughs> in the last year, you've probably seen something like this where you like... Yeah, and like you, you move... Like, you and your body, like, and then it just kind of like makes that little like weird cutout of like where you've been at. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's like one way. That's like split scan photography, which was mm. like sort of where this came from. Uh, this is a little bit different though, because you can see everything's moving all the time. Right. So slit scan photography, which is what the the Instagram filters and shit is based off of, and slit scan video are different because everything is updating at all times. So you've right. got full animation happening. Um, that being said, you can't just plug anything into this and it'll work. Um, this is a bit of a niche thing, mm -hmm. um, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. It's just sort of more, it's more about how do you stage the video going in and how do you work with it compositionally. Right. Because this is like, um, so how many seconds, like if you're working with wave pool, you've got like... Two, maybe three yeah. seconds? Two seconds, give or take, like to work with. Mm -hmm. So basically, whatever video is going in, it kind of doesn't matter if it's quick cuts, if it's long cuts, if it's like strobing or whatever. Like, Wave Pool will just kind of like do whatever the fuck, right. and you can kind of adapt it to anything. Right. This works with about a minute. So you can kind of see, like, this is real time. Temporal Vortex is in like the big screen here. And as we kind of wiggle <laughs> around, and we can sort of like control like where it's picking up in time and everything. Right. But it's got like a full, almost a full minute to work with. So that's like a lot. Right. Uh, it's like a way different. I'm like, I made that face stuff. like, <laughs> yeah, like a minute ago, you know? And it, yeah, you and it see goes it back. Still keep popping back and forth. And it can, <laughs> yeah, I think what's cool about Temporal Vortex is that you can, if you are in that mode already, you can totally do certain things and then just easily go back to it and like mm -hmm. I think in that way it's really complex and compound and you can just stack things on top of each other but it all depends on how you how you utilize it uh -huh. but yeah so what we're doing right now like this is sort of the the the, the prototypical like use case of like slit scan in general is we have a static background mm -hmm. and we have a dynamic foreground mm -hmm. so like me and star are wiggling around and as we wiggle, it sort of gets like transmuted into this like a uh, 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 four dimensional painting of like where we've been at different points in time. Right. Um, so thinking about that in terms of composition, like there are some compositional things that just aren't going to work very well. If we do quick cuts, so if I just put my hand over the camera and then back, so we can just basically simulate having like a quick cut here and there mm -hmm. in here. Well, we're going to see <laughs> in about like 20, 30 seconds, maybe, <laughs> whenever it like catches up, we're just going to see it just kind of like has these sharp edges where it cuts things out. Mm -hmm. Are we getting there? Oh, are we? I think we're in sample mode, actually. Another thing to note is that you can use this as like a video sampler and loop things. Um, we'll go into a little bit more detail about that later. Mm hmm yeah, just to show what happens when you strobe shit out, uh, I just did a reset, and then we kind of just keep doing this. We're going to see like these hard edges pop in and out. I hope we don't have to do an edit point here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just going to take a while. Well, yeah, there's, there's... my face got close there. That's new. Yeah. <laughs> Get more resolution. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> no, I need this to do this longer. What's going on here? 
<laughs> right. It's even confusing to me. Right. We don't it's... even know what we're doing either. Like, it's a process. For sure. <laughs> okay, for so sure. that example works for shit. I might just edit that <laughs> directly out of here. <laughs> Most likely I won't. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> Um, but let's think about ways we can stage things. So one thing I really like to use with this is just straight up just video feedback. Like you can even like 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 keep it really minimalist and start with just like black and white video feedback from like a camera. And then you've got a really simple it's white grayscale on a black background and that's sort of like a really nice place you can move with that. And you get this organic movement happening everywhere, which can mm -hmm. kind of feel like a dancer or something right. like you're you know it's amorphous photonic dancing for sure <laughs> <laughs> and try to start with that um and then something nifty that you can do with this is that you can kind of split the color up mm. um you can so we got i think do 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 these three these three so here try moving around um this one this one and this one what we're gonna see is that it'll Ooh. split up red, green, and blue into separate time slices. So it's just adding like a new little offset for each one of the three colors. Because this one's working in RGB space. So the more we mess around with that, the more if you're especially if you're feeding in like really like matte signals, like something that's just like one distinct color on another distinct color background, right. you can split that up and have this sort of like time-based, time and chroma-based uh, 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 distortion happening. Right. So that's kind of crazy. Um, other things we can do, uh, you can use it sort of more um, in a discrete manner. So we've got different wave shapes for everything. Right mm -hmm. now we're just working with a triangle wave. Um, if I switch off to... There we go. So we got a square wave happening now, and I increase the frequency. You can see what's going on with the square wave is we've got distinct chunks of things right. happening. And because we're also like distorting the color as well, um, these uh, 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 each one of these little squares is going to like have like the maximum and the minimum time mm -hmm. possible. We can start messing around with the orientation. We can make it be more radial. And we can start adding another mm -hmm. oscillator in to make more complex patterns with everything. Mm -hmm. If we dial these in, combine the oscillators in a weird way. Yeah. Then we start to get this weird, like, like, yeah. this is where it can either, depending on what you're feeding it, it can be like a gigantic pile of, like, dog vomit or, like, <laughs> really, really sublime. <laughs> right. Uh huh. What else? What else is nifty about this? I personally really enjoy this effect. Where is it? Oh, no, this one. The germy looking one, like the one that oh, looks like yeah. Amoebas. Yeah, so when we get into, <laughs> we've got noise oscillators that too. One. The noise oscillator is where it gets kind of wild. Yeah. So it's been kind of tricky for me to get like straight up like, like to have a video noise oscillator is like unfortunately way more complicated than it looks. Yeah. Uh, but I finally managed to cram a couple of like noise oscillators in here, and it's pretty nifty. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I feel like that's like a decent amount of info for getting started on Temporal Vortex. Yeah. Maybe if y'all's like write in the comments that you want to see more, we can do an example where for sure. I do artificial light. We can talk about a side by side. I'll show you what happens when we feed artificial life into temporal vortex mm -hmm. and how we can kind of stage things in an intentional manner. Yeah. Um, I think that would be really cool. Once, you know, folks check this out and they can see and recommend which other units mm -hmm. we can pair up with temporal vortex. Because I'm also interested in knowing what, you know, I've done... A lot of the work that I like to do is com like combining wave pool with artificial life. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would love to experiment more with temporal vortex. I feel like it's definitely a slept on unit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are buying them. I just don't see people using them. And I think like we just need to make more sort of like how to get your toes wet kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Temporal Vortex, the wide, weird, wacky world of uh, time displacement and four-dimensional painting. Right. So, yeah. Um, nice. I guess that's probably it for this episode. 
and do some more. Oh yeah, one final thing is like the cheesiest thing you can always do is just fucking get someone to dance or just dance yourself. In right. Because that's like the easiest way to have something which is kind of like mind boggling as like an right. Idea. Like you don't even need to like you can just plug it in, not even play with the controller, and just from like the default settings you will have like a good time with that. Yeah, for sure. Um yeah, as you can see, if you've ever looked at my Instagram and seen me, like, post weird fucking yoga videos, <laughs> this, like. <laughs> It was temporal vortex. Yep. Um, but yeah, as yeah. always, hit us up in the comments. Let mm -hmm. us know if these videos are useful, if they're not, if there's something you want to see, if there's something you never want to see again. Right. Uh, I guess that's fine. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm not saying I'll respond to anything. I'm really just asking you to write comments because it makes my channel look more popular. <laughs> Just crack the code. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was mildly a joke. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I guess that's it. And as always, have fun. Yeah, peace. <laughs>